Hey everyone, Azwit from Soft Asia Tech here. Today we will create a pop-up that shows related articles. In order to do this, we will need to think outside the box for a second. Let's say that the user is reading an article on your blog, and then when reaching the end of the article, a pop-up is shown. But instead of seeing an ad, the user exposed to other features, posts, and articles. This way, we encourage our users' engagement while delivering a better user experience. Let's see how we do it in Elementor Pop-up Builder. In Finder, search for pop-up, add a new pop-up, and give it a name. This time, I am going to use a blank pop-up. In the pop-up setting, change the width to 100 viewport width (DVW) and the position to center and bottom. Next, I will open a new section with four columns. The left will be 55%, and the other three will be 15%. On the left, I will add a heading widget with some text, and on the right, I will add an image widget. So now that the structure is ready, let's add a hover effect and links to the post that I want to show. Starting with the links, go the link drop-down menu. And choose custom URL. Paste your link here. Okay. Now let's add some effects. Here I want the pictures to be black and white in their normal state, and when hovering over them, I want them to fill with color. So under styles, go to CSS filters and change the saturation to zero. Then under the hover tab, click on the CSS filter and make sure that the saturation still is set to hundred. Now, when we hover over the images, you can already see the effect. Cool. Let's apply the same effect on the other images by copy pasting the style with the right click. All right. The only thing that is missing is the entrance effect. Go to the pop-up setting, and in the entrance animation drop-down menu, choose slide in up. Let's also remove the overlay background that appears when the pop-up is displayed. Go to overlay and switch the trigger to hide. So now that my design is ready, let's click publish and set the conditions, triggers, and advanced rules. Click on add condition, singular, all pages, and choose the name of the page where you want the pop-up to pop. Click next. I want the pop-up to show when the user reaches a certain point of my article. So let's switch the on scroll to element trigger yes. And in the selector field, type the class. I will call it dot pop it. Next, for this example, we are not going to set any advanced rule. So click on save and close. Now let's add the class to the element on our page, where we want to pop up to appear. We set it to show when the user reaches the share button section. In the section setup, under the advanced tab, go to CSS classes and type the same class we set before. Now click update. Okay, we are done. Let's see how it looks like. Nice. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get all the latest updates and tutorials. See you later.